all of you might be familiar with the github that it's a wonderful source control where uh, it's it has a lot of features where you can able to manage your code bases there are features like pull requests you can clone it and you can fork it there are a lot of features are there the good thing about github is that actually it started with open source and now there is an enterprise version of it and many companies have started using the enterprise version as well as a developer like me right uh, we are using in github for our personal core repositories in the github server so uh, the thing is that um, um, one thing actually i noticed is that uh, many developers right they used to use the git commands in the terminal right you can go to the terminal and you can um, type the git clone of your repo name and it clones the repository to your local macbook or something so you use many commands like uh, you can use git branch git repo many things you can use it and you have a complete control over it but uh, it's it's something which you might be realizing that there are tools like uh, uh, github for the mac and there are many paid tools that are available in the market which uh, which helps you to do the same thing where uh, instead of doing in the command right you can use this ua tools where you can uh, publish your uh, changes back to the github server once you specify the repo but uh, um, uh, after realizing or after doing some research i came to know that actually the github is self it's providing some uh, uh, apis where you can go to the developer.github uh, dot com where you know, there are uh, hundreds of APIs are there uh, those kind of APIs are uh, you can use it with your dot net program object to see Ruby or any other programs it depends on you which language you picked it and uh, uh, once you have your language right you can use this APIs which helps you to communicate with your uh, github server uh, using various actions you can do it like you can publish a repo you can clone a repo you can merge you can do a pull request you can make a tag you can create a releases you can pull the releases associated with the repo many things you can do it so um, after realizing that I was fascinated that uh, sometime in the future right I also might create a uh, open source tool which helps the developers uh, rather than uh, typing the git command in the terminal right they can use that uh, tool and they can use it for their um, um, application development so uh, um, um, I am basically an iOS developer I do a lot of graphics programming and apart from that I do Android development but on the top of that actually um, after I do some research on Ruby I came to realize that Ruby is something like a um, um, for speedy development right you can pick the ruby because it it needs a few lines of code and basically with the few lines of code you can able to achieve what you are expecting but on the same time if i pick an object tc for the ios or a mac application right it might need uh, some more additional effort and it might need some additional line of code so here um, basically i am here demonstrating uh, um, uh, how can it be able to utilize this APIs in order to communicate with the github server so basically here I am showing you two things one is the github get command as well as github post HTTP request so here uh, I am using and gist there is a you know, using the github api right we can be able to see what are all the comments associated with the uh, gist uh, so um, uh, how can we um, pull those comments associated with the gist is something like we need to call an http get method and it's something like your host name should be followed with a gist and the gist as id and the comments that's it um, once you have this url and uh, you need to ensure that if it is an https you need to specify the ssl in the ruby and if it is an http get method you will get all the comments comments associated with the guest so here you can see that I just created a private guest for the demo purpose and here you can see that I created a guest and there is no comments associated with it and here if I go back right uh, here uh, you can see um,
Let's see, uh, I created a command called uh, uh, git command dot uh, rb, and here you can see that I uh, uh, basically I am trying to demonstrate uh, how can we pull the commands associated with the gist. And here I am using the HTTPS API dot github dot com gist, and the gist id gist id is something which you will get it from here and you have to specify that and comments so this is exactly what actually in the github developer portal they are saying and you have to specify the host name followed by guest guest id and the comments so once you specify that you need to create an http api which the ruby has provided it you created an http with the uri host and port and as it is an HTTPS URL, right, you need to specify use SSL as HTTP true verify mode. And you created the request and the response, basically the GitHub API, which returns a JSON response. I am just displaying that response. And basically how um, here you can see that I am clearing this. Uh, Ruby and the Ruby file you have to specify it like this once you specify that uh, you are literally seeing there is no response it's coming it's because there is no comments have been posted here so here I am putting comment one I just created a comment and I am going back here I am executing the script again here you can see the comment is uh, coming back so now the second comment also I am creating it comment okay instead of comment one and two I just say hi which I I just put it here so here you can see that I'm clearing the terminal executing it here you can see that the command one that is a first body and the second command is hi which I so this is how actually basically you communicate with that so currently I am executing this Ruby in a terminal that's what you are seeing this results like this but uh, once you have a UA or something right for example if you are creating a MacBook uh, Mac client right you can basically using the NS URL session or NS URL connection right you can able to call this GitHub APIs and and see this results and you can display this results in a nice uh, UA so that's what actually the basically the git client is doing it so I am just executing or showing this results in a terminal but if you have a nice UA or something you can display it in a, a UA as well so here you see the git uh, uh, the API which returns all the comments associated with the guest but and it using the HTTP uh, get method so as it is in order to pull the comments associated with the guest right you don't basically need uh, anything apart from that particular uh, um, git uh, comment or the guest ID but if you want to post it right you need a basically you need to authenticate to the github so github actually provides a basic authentication like you can pass the username and password or there is something called a personal access token where it creates an access token specifically for your account and you can use that access token in order to communicate with the github apis so here i am basically i am showing you the next one is to how to create a comment so create a comment is nothing but it's a http post method uh, you need to have a um, host name uh, that is the ap.github.com followed by gist, gist id, comments. But in order to post a command, right, you need to pass a body along with your HTTP request. So here I am showing you a demonstration on how to do that. So here you can see that uh, uh, here I am, um, I have created a JSON file where I kept my access token because this is a video tutorial. I don't want to expose my access token. So I just put my access token in a uh, JSON file. I am reading that access token in a JSON file and passing it as a URI parameter uh, to the query, URI query. Uh, well, after that, I am creating an HTTP um, using the URI host and the port. Uh, as it is an HTTPS, I am setting up the SSL verify mode and here I am creating the request and as I mentioned right you need to pass the body as the parameter so that's what I am doing the body I am passing it as test or test this command create 
I, I am converting it as a JSON. I am just requesting that uh, HTTP request with that particular request and the response which I am getting it, I am displaying that. Hope, uh, so here I am again clearing this and uh, let me save this Ruby file. I am going to that particular directory here. I am listing which are all the files associated Ruby. here see the body which I posted here it's successfully uh, this particular um, command has been posted in the github forum and here you can see that basically before I execute that Ruby it has only three commands associated I'm refreshing this page and you can see that the command has been created and now I want to see uh, I am executing the old Ruby where it pulls or uh, if you basically want one more command if I want to create hi github saving executing again it's a successfully created one going back to the forum you you don't see it and I'm just refreshing it over here and there it is and if you want to list down which are all the comments associated with that guest I'm clearing it. I am going back to the first Ruby file that Ruby needs to be executed by Ruby followed by the file name. That's it. And here it's a lengthy response, so I am basically going here. Here you can see that the first body is command one. The second one is high j second one is test and the third one is so that's what it's all done so i hope all of you have enjoyed this video and uh, there are more videos related to github api i will be posting it and let me know if you want any specific area you want to uh, have a video tutorial or something let me know i can uh, i am happy to post it in the youtube thank you all have a good day